what is good with y'all man so today i'm basically going to be showing you guys how to stop rollout plays now i know i'm on next gen but don't worry this works for last gen and next gen last gen and next gen are they both starting to become kind of the same game yeah, obviously movement isn't the same but they're i don't know like the way people play and stuff is starting i guess maybe more people playing next gen i don't know but basically we're going to be going over how to stop like pa boo because i know I don't know, maybe you guys still having trouble with that, uh, levels, and even, like, let's say people running PA boot, but they're having, like, tight ends going crossers, running back going the other way, same thing with levels, you know what I mean? Just gonna show you guys, basically, a really easy way to stop this and, um, put into that nonsense, because usually people, if that's the only thing they run, usually they suck, so if you stop that, there's nothing else they're gonna do, so um, I'm in the 4-6 defense, I really don't think it matters what defense you guys run, um, because you're just making adjustments out of, you know, I'm just going to show you the adjustments to make. So you can really make this probably out of any defense you guys run. I run nickel normal. We're coming out of Tampa 2. And just because we come out of Tampa 2, that doesn't mean that's the play we're running. I just like, that's the way I want my players lined up. You know what I mean? So we're going to come out now. I guess we can do PA boot first. So let's have the, uh, let's have them come out and PA boot over. <clears throat> All right. So here we go. Always the first thing I like to do is, um, I always like to uh, have all my everybody press press the corners D line just pinch everybody in do that boom right so basically PA boot right the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna man up the slot corner which is this guy right here we're just gonna man him up like that boom right we're gonna do that and then um this guy right here your right linebacker you're gonna want to put him on a uh, curl flat a purple basically right always put your user on a blitz now you're, you you are going to want to adjust your curl flats you can't adjust them in practice for some reason um you're going to want to put it at 20 yards um sometimes even 20 if it's not working right and then the cloud flat you're going to want to put this at probably 10 put, put the cloud flat at 10 curl flat at about 20 right and then this uh the left safety here over top or to the left you want to put him on an inside third right um so it's like that so he plays over the middle because you basically want him to play this uh the receiver all the way to the left and then basically um also you, you always want to put a put a spy and contain even though it's probably not going to work right because you want to try to somehow keep him in the pocket right and um yeah basically this is the bag for pa boot because you know where you want to make sure also your slot corner is really good at man coverage for me it's nominee so he's not gonna get open right so that's taken away and then the receiver all the way to the left the inside third is going to take care of that and then basically the guy on the drag you know he, you just kind of want to run with him a little bit a little bit a little bit until he runs into the uh, cloud flat and then basically all you got to do is worry about the um the uh delay tight end fade that's really it there and then um that's pretty much the bag for that now obviously they could run some other shit right where they could maybe put the running back on an in route maybe have the tight end on a drag or a crosser if that is to happen if they put the running back on like a little in route all you want to do is um this left corner right here all the way to the left you just want to um you just want to hard flat him like that boom so you kind of want to stand here in the middle for a second wait here for like a second and then so he can run into that hard flat and get covered and then boom get back over there where to the uh, delay tight end fade is right if he puts the tight end on like a crosser you could just cloud flat the uh, left corner. You can just put him on a cloud flat because he, he'll be able to play that. Because he'll be the, the only thing over there would be the tight end, so he'll play that. And, um, yeah, you just kind of want to stay in the middle with your user for a little bit until he runs over to the zone. You know what I mean? Just like you're playing normal defense, right? And, um, yeah, so basically, that's it for PA boot. I mean, that's not that hard. I mean, I know a lot of, I guess some people are still struggling with PA boot. I don't know. I feel like PA boot's kind of been dead. I mean, it, I don't know. All right, now let's go over uh, levels. I think trips tight end. Let's see, do they have it in this playbook, bro. Trips, trip. Here we go. Levels say. I know some of you guys probably. This is an annoying play. It'll it'll always catch me off guard. You know what I mean? But all right, so levels basically. I'll be honest. So what I do against levels is kind of the same thing, right? So this what we're gonna do is we're actually this right corner right here. Now this is trips levels. You can do this out of any of the levels. They're all the same thing, right? The first up that right corner over there we're gonna hard flat him like that boom right and then um this uh linebacker right here i'm gonna put him on a curl flat but for the trips um levels or really any of them 
I would say you want to put this curl flat at about 25 yards, sometimes even 30 yards. Trust me, it, it it'll you because you want him to play that corner route. That's what you're trying to do is get him to play that corner route. Trust me, that'll work. Um, trust me. All right. So then next up we want to do is this entire left side right here. We're, we're, we're manning that up, right? You see? So put the corner all the way to the left. Boom. Man him up on him. Slot corner. Boom. Man him up on him. And then basically, um, this guy right here, you can, you could do whatever you want to do with him. I'll be honest. I mean, if you want to leave him on the, the as a, a deep half, you can leave him on the deep half. If you want to put him on inside third, put him on inside third. If you want to bring him down hell, even on a hook curl like that, you could do that. It's, it's up to you what you want to do with him. It doesn't really matter. Also makes you want to contain and put a spy on your D line. It really all you have to worry about is the slot receiver that's the only person you really have to play just kind of play in the middle and um if he starts if he starts doing that shit where he's putting crosses and shit over there um like let's say he puts the running back on a little in route just hard flat this corner all the way to the left like that boom you know what i mean the running back will run into that um if he's putting like a tight end crosser instead of putting him on a corner route this uh the safety all the way to the left here Curl flat him, boom, have him come down like that. So the tight end will run into that. And then um Yeah, I mean that's it. Um I feel like the level levels I feel like um level sales are definitely a lot easier to bag now. Obviously you have to know he's running it right. I mean that that that's how it is for any play. You have to know a guy's running it, but that's that's madden, you know what I mean? If you don't know what he's running, then you're not gonna stop it if you know what he's running right there that's the whole point that's how you make your that's how i make my adjustments all right he's coming out he's about to run this play and you're probably thinking well how do i know you just gotta know you know what i mean it's a game of chess you gotta know what your opponent's running bro you can't just make adjustments and like oh he might be running this or you know maybe no you gotta be confident you gotta know he's running and you gotta make your adjustments to that so i mean that's basically it for the rollouts you know what i mean it's um not really it's not that hard it, it'll get you a few a couple times in the beginning because you don't expect it that's just how it is but once you know it's coming bro it's really wraps and really actually another way you could do this um stop this uh level shit if you want to what you could do is um you can this uh right linebacker right here so you see how he's on a curl flat so once you put him on a curl flat what you could do is you could put him on a hard flat and you could have him play the running back right so look at this so see how he's on a curl flat if you hit triangle and then you hit, uh flip the flip the right stick down and underneath shade underneath right boom now he's on a hard flat and what you could do with this right corner is put him back on a um a cloud flat and if you put the um if you put the uh, cloud flat at 20 yards so he'll play the corner out um the uh linebacker will go down and play the flat so he'll play that running back well, watch i'll show you all right well actually i don't know if it's gonna play how it's supposed to be because I, we didn't get to just but you see a boom the corner goes back but see we, we couldn't adjust the zone drops there so the, the corner kind of doesn't he doesn't play it how he's supposed to really he would run right back there and play that corner out but that, that's another way you could do that too so yeah i mean that's basically it how to stop rollouts it isn't that complicated is it it, it would, really the only time it'll work against you is when you when he, when he quick snaps and you can't get your adjustments off so you got to be really quick on your adjustments so i would probably advise maybe do this in practice so you can get used to the buttons doing it really fast because you if you fuck up once he's gonna snap the ball and your adjustments gonna be fucked up you gotta do it all fast and it's gotta be 100 percent perfect so yeah that's basically um that's basically it boys just wanted to make a quick video how to stop rollout some of you guys were asking if there's any other plays that i don't know about i mean that's pretty much that, that's the basics for any rollout really that that's just the basics how you want to do it, you know what i mean like i said it's a lot of adjustments but you can get them all off trust me if you don't fuck up once do it all perfectly you can get them all off you can uh but you can't fuck up it's got to be perfect so that's gonna do it though boys like comment subscribe man fuck with your boy man and i'm out